What's up you guys, it's Steve here with some pretty incredible news coming out about stimulus checks. Now I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as we're hearing about new ones being proposed. Some of these are pretty sizable and uh, as you guys know I keep you up to date on everything happening here on the channel. There's not just the federal level checks but I'm going to get you up to date on those as well. But there's states, cities and counties sending out checks all the time. I've got new articles that just rolled out. All of these are linked in the description below and also access to applications for some of these that you need to apply to so you can go do so right now. I'm going to get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, first off, as you know, I'm assembling a comprehensive list of every single stimulus check in the nation. I literally have over a hundred of them. And you guys, I am working away on that right now. www.reliefroadmap.com. If you haven't added your email, do so right away. We have over 9,000 people. I am here for you guys. Uh, gonna get that up here very soon. Just working on this website. There are some technical issues, but now I'm really excited because we're setting it up so there's gonna be a, a forum, community page, all of these things where you can access access everything. I'm really excited about this. I think you guys are going to be uh, just blown away at, at how easy to access this is going to be and I hope that it's a blessing to you guys. Now we're hearing all of these things are going to be ramping up here as we get closer to these midterm elections and you guys we've heard that executive orders for stimulus. If you missed my last video on it check it out could be coming in the next few days. We're hearing this week we're expecting President Joe Biden to issue out the first of many executive orders, the first of which we're hearing is going to be addressing student loan debt and forgiveness. Now we will see if he wipes out student loan debt, extends the moratorium, but we're also hearing calls for child tax credits. We're hearing people saying we need stimulus checks back, which would be nice on a federal level to everybody in the nation. We're hearing about social security increases, free college tuition, free child care, social security increases. All of these things you guys were hearing are coming back. And why is that? That, it's because we're hearing that it has been the strategy all along of Democrats. They've been holding out, unfortunately, waiting till the elections, which is historically what we see around election time. That is when politicians that are in power start getting to work, start passing things so it's fresh in the minds of voters and they say, hey, these guys aren't so bad after all. I think I'll keep them in power. And you guys, we're hearing that is exactly what's happening. We're hearing that stimulus is the winning element for these elections. And we've even heard a confession from the Republicans in the Senate saying, listen, uh, we think Democrats are going to win because their strategy, they're playing it exactly like they said, and we think that it's going to win. Democrats are going to win. They're going to pass provisions and they're going to stay in power despite these record low approval ratings from the president and Democrats. They're saying they think they're going to pull it off. Now we will see. Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but don't be surprised to see a ton of new provisions and stimulus and legislation and executive actions coming in the course of the next 90 days. And I'm going to keep you up to date on all of these as they roll out. I give you guys the latest breaking news and also we're hearing there's a lot of drama unfolding with negotiations taking place behind the scenes. I shared with you yesterday some of the things that are unfolding right now with Kirsten Cinema, Senator Joe Manchin. I've been sharing with you some of the things that we've been discovering as we have over 800 billion on a federal level, you guys. And a lot of people are wondering, why have we not seen stimulus checks with these excess funds? It literally would be uh, using funds just sitting there. We would not add new debt, wouldn't add to inflation, just taking it and sending it out. Well, what we're hearing is that actually is taking place right now. However, a lot of people aren't getting word of this. And unfortunately, there's a lot of corruption taking place on different levels where they're figuring out ways to take money that was meant for people and give it back to the politicians themselves or to other groups or organizations. And you guys, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen to you. I'm going to keep you up to date on everything. And like I said, uh, I'm going to make sure that you have access to every single stimulus check in the nation at www.reliefroadmap.com. If you haven't already, add your email, tell your friends, tell your family, spread the word. We're going to make sure that everybody gets access to this. But you guys, I've got a couple of different updates for you. We're going to get you caught up as to new checks rolling out. And as I said, as we get closer, closer to these elections, federal level stimulus checks. There's over $800 billion just sitting there. Bernie Sanders, Pramila Jayapal, uh, Rashida Tlaib, a lot of Democrats in Congress have been pushing Biden. Executive actions, stimulus checks, get it done. Keep your promises to the American people. Send out the provisions and the help that they need. And maybe you will win in the elections. We will see you guys. Let me know your thoughts. 
But let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest updates. Now, before we do, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the content, appreciate everything we do here for the Ram Fam, trying to keep you guys up to speed, linking all of the sources, making sure you have access to everything, do me a quick favor, smash the like button, just takes a second, helps me out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. Also, leave your comments, share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not? Come join the Ram Fam. All you got to do is very quickly hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, hop on to Instagram. Shoot me a DM at SteveRam3. Remember, I don't have a WhatsApp. Uh, I won't tell you to message me or contact somebody that's going to help you out uh, in the comments down below here. Instagram, SteveRam3, the only and best way to get a hold of me directly, you guys, and I'll do my best to respond to any questions you got. Give me a little bit of time because I get a lot of DMs, but once I get to it, I promise I will try to help you out as much as I can. And also, consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, where I'm helping people learn about growing wealth, personal finance, starting businesses, investing in real estate stocks, cryptos. Uh, more content coming on that channel just right now. A lot going on with the news, the economy, and the relief roadmap. So, but more content coming soon. Subscribe now to that channel, you guys. And with that being said, though, let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest happening with stimulus checks. All right, so first up, you guys, a link in the description below. This one's from New Jersey Department of Transportation. This is a press release that came out this month, and you can see NJ Dot seeks volunteers for mileage based user fee pilot program. Earn $100 to help find new ways to support transportation infrastructure and protect the environment. So this is going on right now. You're gonna to need to apply. I'm gonna also put a link to the application so you can go see it for yourself. But very quickly, you guys, Trenton, New Jersey, Department of Transportation, Commissioner Diane gutierrez Cassetti, and the Eastern Transportation Coalition are urging residents to participate in an innovative mileage-based user fee pilot program. Drivers who participate can earn $100 and will help policymakers explore potential alternatives to fuel tax to maintain New Jersey roads and bridges. So this is going on right now. As you heard, you can get $100 simply for uh, driving around, helping them get information. As I mentioned, there's a hyperlink. You can see New Jersey NewJerseyMBUFPilot.com. That is linked down below. And pretty much you're going to get $100 to help them figure out ways to improve the systems in New Jersey. So if you're in New Jersey and uh, you want to apply for this, get $100 for driving, uh, do so right away. Link in the description below. And here also, is a screenshot of the actual website so that way you know that you're at the official page. Right here they'll give you all the information that you need so that way you can be a participant of this program. Now up next you guys take a look at this coming out from Montana. Does the state legislator need a special session to spend down the budget surplus? And this is the case across the nation, you guys, as I've let you know. There are tons and tons, billions and billions of dollars that states have in surplus, excess funds. They're trying to figure out what to do, and in many cases, they're sending out checks for different things. Now, take a look at this. Republican legislators, they are divided on calls to assemble a special session and pass income and property tax rebates, the latest proposal to spend down substantial state budgets. So uh, right now, the Republican Party is divided, kind of like what we have on a federal level in Congress, where uh, Democrats hold the majority, but they can't seem to agree. Montana has the same thing, only it's Republicans. They can't seem to agree and pass things. Now, there are two separate pushes for special sessions. A comparatively rare phenomenon in Montana politics has emerged. Each faces a hurdle of either getting the governor on board or gathering majority support among legislators. And while Republicans, they hold more than enough legislative seats to make the latter path a possibility, some fractional flare-ups mean that not every member of the majority caucus is aligned behind the efforts. So, they have got to unify and figure out a way uh, to push through benefits and provisions to people. And you can see here in the next paragraph, it says they've been proposing sending out $3,000 in state income taxes uh, to those in Montana. But it says that there has emerged a new proposal, take a look at this, to disperse from the surplus $1,000 rebates for Montana homeowners who paid property taxes in the last two years, rebates of up to $1,250 for individuals, $2,500 for couples who paid resident income taxes during the last two years and 100 million to pay down the state debt. Now at play is 1 billion and 1.4 billion in state revenues beyond the baseline in the current biennial budget according to the legislative fiscal analyst and the surplus is a product of higher than predicted 
tax collection. So raking in that tax money, they have got so much, they're saying, let's send it back to the people. And like I've said, this is happening across the nation. That is why we're seeing all of these different state, city, and county stimulus provisions popping up, stimulus checks, and also because of leftover American Rescue Plan money. $350 billion went out in the American Rescue Plan to go out to states, cities, and counties, many of which have not even touched the money. Now, over a year later, they're starting to access the funds, put together these stimulus check programs. Now, here's another one, you guys, in the state of Connecticut. Take a look at this, stimulus update. Connecticut to give families $257.87 per child in a back-to-school relief. Governor Ned Lamont announces that Connecticut Department of Social Services will deliver a one-time pandemic relief special benefit to more than 15,000 low-income households as a way to alleviate the toll of inflation that it is taking as they go back to school and parents are shopping for many families. The benefit, known as the Pandemic Emergency Assistance Fund, or PEEF, totals $257.87 per child and will go to 27,000 children, according to a press release. So you can expect this in Connecticut if you are a parent and your kids are going back to school, an extra 250 bucks roughly to help you out with, uh, with going back to school. And you guys, it also says that households are eligible, those who receive benefits through TFA, or Temporary Family Assistance Programs, uh, May 2022, they will receive supplemental nutritional assistance programs as well, or SNAP benefits. So a couple of different programs happening in Connecticut that can help you out. And here is another one, you guys. Link in the description below. Take a look at this. Lowe's to pay $55 million in bonuses for hourly frontline workers amid high inflation. It says a spokesperson for Lowe's said the bonuses are going to be paid out September 9th. So coming up here very soon, though the company didn't say how much each employee will get, according to the Washington Post. The announcement comes after Lowe's second quarter of profits beat the Wall Street forecasts. I am pleased that our team drove operating margin improvements and effectively managed inventory despite lower than expected sales, a clear reflection of our relentless focus on operating discipline and productivity. Now, it is not the first round of employee bonuses for Lowe's, which employees uh, about 300,000 people and operators across more than 2,000 stores have received. Lowe's home improvement stores will pay $55 million in bonuses to hourly frontline workers to help offset high inflation, according to the CEO. So this is awesome. They're addressing the fact that, hey, we've got record high inflation. The company is doing well, we're going to take the surplus, send it to the workers, send it to the people. Maybe the CEO of Lowe's should talk to members of Congress. Let me know your thoughts, you guys, but this is also linked in the description below. And these are some of the stimulus check provisions, programs, uh, news that's popping up right now. And as I said, as more of these pop up, because we're seeing these all the time, I will keep you up to date on the latest. But you guys, um, that is the latest. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash the like button if you appreciate the stimulus check updates, what's happening with Congress, the economy, legislation, midterm elections, everything that's happening, I will keep you up to date. And if you wanna stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not come join the Ram Fam? All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, hop onto Instagram, shoot me a DM at SteveRam3. Also consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth, personal finance, more content coming on that channel here very soon. And also, as I mentioned, if you haven't already, add your email, www.reliefroadmap.com. Working on the website right now, I think you're gonna be uh, blown away, very impressed with what I am setting up right now to help you guys out to Get easy access to everything available. Add your email if you haven't already to get added to the wait list. But with that being said, you guys, that is the latest. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.